I would say the more our response to the environment weakens us, our response to our own thoughts weakens us, the more susceptible we are to anything that's outside of us and the more in balance we are autonomically and we can self-regulate, the more we should be having a resistance to the conditions in our environment. We have frequencies that are unavoidable now. We have TV waves, radio waves, microwaves, Wi-Fi signals, cell signals. We've got a lot of frequencies on the low band that we're swimming in on some level. And the long-term effects of, say, holding a cell phone to your ear, taking a transistor and amplifying a signal next to your brain, which is 78% water, could produce some changes in biological tissue. Would I do that? No. Would I do it here and there just for a short phone call? Yes. By the same means, if your brain is already incoherent because you're overstimulated by the hormones of stress and you're not in your heart or your heart's incoherent and it doesn't produce a field, then you're disconnected from energy and you're more susceptible to stressors in your life. And there's physical, chemical and emotional stressors, but there's also frequency stressors. We have had so many people in this work that had all kinds of sensitivities to electromagnetism. And many of them in balancing their energy centers, in doing the breath and pulling the mind out of the body, practice brain and heart coherence in a very short amount of time, are not only living normal lives again, but many of them are completely in a different life.